The Nokia X6 is a high-tech music-oriented handset that the manufacturer offers with one year free subscription to their Comes With Music service that allows for free of charge downloads of audio tracks from a huge online library and without violating anyone's copyright. In terms of hardware, there are two impressing aspects about the device that stand out. First, the phone is equipped with capacitive screen that measures 3.2 inches. Until now, all Nokia handsets with touch screens utilize resistive technology that simply cannot provide the same great sensitivity as its capacitive counterpart. Well, the display of the Nokia Hix 6 truly is truly responsive and offers good image quality. The second impressive feature of the device is the ample amount of built-in memory, 32 gigs. The front side hosts the send and end keys along with one that calls up the main menu. All hardware buttons feature proper travel that makes them comfortable to use. We didn't encounter any issues relating to the camera shutter or the screen lock and volume rocker keys. They are located on the right hand side with the SIM card slot placed on the opposite. The 3.5mm jack, charger and micro USB cable ports are on the top and the power on button is next to them. As a whole, the handset features rather boring overall design and holding in your hand you just don't have the feeling of a device with proper build quality. Moreover, it's rather bulky and tall, which means it's not exactly comfortable to carry around in your pocket either. The Nokia X6 is based on Symbian S60's 5th edition and its interface is almost identical to the version running on the other models of the manufacturer equipped with touch sensitive screens. Unlike the N97, you are disallowed to rearrange the home screen elements but at least there are several themes that come preloaded onto the phone. We like the contacts bar theme best. It's a shame the handset doesn't support multi-touch and zooming on things based on the current means of controlling the browser feels clumsy indeed. You can actually do that via double taps but the page text doesn't get resized so as to fit to the screen. All told, the application simply cannot hold a candle to the browsers found on the best cell phones today. The camera is not exactly impressive either. Its sensor has native resolution of 5 megapixel and double LED flash that does help in case you feel like taking a snapshot in poor lighting conditions. Its interface is however rather uncomfortable to use, especially when you want to fast switch between the various options. Pictures taken with the device sport enough details, but their colors appear unrealistically represented and more often than not there is a noticeable purple fringing that plagues the overall quality. Videos are captured at VGA resolution and 30 frames per second and they do play smoothly. As a whole their quality is acceptable plus the sounds to them are of good quality. Naturally the strength of the Nokia X6 lies with the music playback. The loudspeakers don't pack much punch really but they offer clear and pleasing sound. The quality through the box headset is close to the best we have evidenced. Unfortunately, you will have to plug in the earphones in case you feel like listening to the radio. This is quite odd really since the Nokia X3 that happens to be a much more affordable member of the X-series family is equipped with built-in radio aerial. The X6 plays MPEG-4 videos with maximum resolution width of 640 pixels. Their image quality is quite good and there are no noticeable image artifacts to speak of. Still. It is such a shame that a high-end handset like this likes native DivX and XVID support. The in-call quality is excellent. Our colors sounded loud and clear and their voices were realistic. Moreover, they didn't have any complaints about the quality either. There is nothing to nag about when it comes to battery performance either, because a single charge gets you 6 hours of continuous talk and 420 hours in standby. Not to mention the battery allows for 35 hours of uninterrupted audio playback. All told, there is virtually no room on the market for this particular handset. It will set you back with nearly $730 and what you get for your money is good sound quality and proper music oriented functionality only. The Samsung Comnia HD that comes with almost the same price tag sports better camera and multimedia capabilities. Plus. The more affordable Samsung Jet and BDJ also pack more extra features. Your investment in the Nokia Hix 6 would pay off only in case you download tons of music 
from the comes with music service that as of now hasn't been launched in the US yet. Basically you would have to get a huge number of tracks to balance off the extremely high price of the handset. Please visit phonearena.com where you can find more information on the Nokia X6 and read our full review of the handset.